Hi all the students. So the example network that we are going to study today is your wireless LANs and the standard for it is IEEE 802.11. So it is the st same standard committee which had uh, designed a standardized version of the Ethernet protocol that is IEEE 802.1 just like the Ethernet protocol is IEEE 802.3 the wireless LAN protocol is IEEE 802.11 so the wireless LANs 802.11 this is nothing but in a simple language if I call it it is a Wi-Fi technology that we all know so the Wi-Fi technology that we use is your wireless LANs now before I proceed with what kind of services it provides, let's ha have a quick overview of what wireless LAN is doing. It is basically providing connectivity over short distance using a wireless medium. Now just like a LAN provides you connectivity through a wired medium, a wireless LAN provides you connectivity through a wireless medium. But the geographical area covered by both LANs is same irrespective of the fact whether it is a wired LAN or whether it is a wireless LAN, a LAN will always cover smaller geographical areas. So when we talk of wireless LANs also, here also a wireless LAN provides you connectivity over short distance, right? But using what kind of a medium now? Using wireless medium since it is a wireless LAN. So when I say short geographical area, this is usually less than few hundred feet. When is wireless LAN useful? A wireless LAN is useful when wiring is difficult or it is expensive or when you want a temporary access. When there is a temporary access to the services of internet required, in that case you can choose to have a wireless LAN. Further, when it is difficult, like in terrains, like in the mountain areas where wiring is not that easy. So in such cases or when wiring is expensive, in such cases you can have a wireless LAN. Now, what kind of services does a wireless LAN provide you? A wireless LAN provides you with two kinds of services. One is the basic service set, which is also known as BSS and other is the extended service set which is also known as ESS. Now if I look at the components of a wireless LAN, what are the components of a wireless LAN? Now to start with the first component is your stations. Stations are nothing but your mobile nodes. So we all know nodes are any such electronic device which can send or receive data. So these are your mobile nodes. The station which are your mobile nodes is one component of your wireless LANs. Then the another component is your access points, right? Access points are basically uh, the tr consists of your transmitters and receivers. So, with the help of transmitters and receivers, you can transmit and receive data and hence they are collectively known as trans receivers, which can both transmit and receive data, consists of transmitters, receivers, hence also known as trans receivers. So, these are the access points which are helping you in transmitting or receiving data. Now, all the stations are connected to these access points or all the mobile nodes are connected to these access points. Now the basic service set, if I talk of the basic service set, it consists of all the stations and the access points which are within the same radio coverage, that means within the same range. But if I talk of the extended service set, it is a collection of several basic service sets connected through access points. So a basic service set consists of stations and access points which are within the same radio coverage and an extended service set consists of several such basic service sets which are connected through access points. This access point is further connected to your wired LANs. The access points to which all the stations are connected is connected to the wired
learn and they can exchange these uh, uh, access points can exchange signals with the wireless LAN card. So you have to ha have an inbuilt wireless LAN card inside your nodes, whether it is your mobile or it is a laptop. They must have a wireless LAN card inserted or inbuilt inside this uh, device. And then the uh, with the help of access points, you can exchange signals. Now these wireless LAN cards are nothing but the adapters which are inbuilt inside your uh, devices. Now, if I look at the other components of a wireless LAN, it is a portal. Now, what is a portal? Portal is a bridge to other wired networks. As I know that my access points are connected to the wired LANs. And portal is a bridge to all other wired networks. And then a distributed system. Basically, this entire setup is a distributed system in itself. What is a distributed system? An interconnection network to form a logical network. That means an interconnection among several different networks which form a logical network. So if I look at the diagram of a wireless LAN, you can see there are two stations or two nodes, station one, station two within the basic service set. That means these stations are within the same radio range and then they are connected to one access point. Then this access point is connected to a portal and this portal is connected to the wired LAN or the wired network. So your access points connects to the portal and the portal is your wired network or the wired LAN. Then there may be other such access points also and then within that access and uh, that access point is connected to some other basic service set which is having uh, station 3 or station 4. And when these two separate basic service sets are connected then through a, a wireless uh, medium then this is called the extended service set and this entire set of forms your distributed system. So this is the architecture of a wireless LAN.